What's up guys? Igor Hernandez here. Let's talk trial. Today we're talking about jury nullification. What is it? Can you do it? Should you do it? So first of all, let's start with what jury nullification is. So jury nullification is a power that the jury has in the United States of America and in perhaps other countries where the jury can decide to render a verdict that is against the weight of the evidence and the law usually basically means the side proves their case they prove their case in accordance with the law the jury let's say it's a criminal case because it only really applies in criminal cases let's say in the criminal case the jury is convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that the government has proven its case against the defendant the jury is convinced that that is illegal under the laws of the state or of the of the um, county or of whatever uh, or let's say the federal government and the jury still decides to enter a not guilty verdict to acquit the defendant even though the jury is convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty as charged so i say it's a it's a it's a power and not a right because a right would imply that legally the jury has the power to do this that there's a law somewhere that says the jury can in fact acquit when the defendant is guilty as charged and they can do so just because they disagree with the law there is no such law at least not in my jurisdiction and not in any jurisdiction that i'm aware of uh so it's not a it's not a right in fact if you showed up to jury selection and you said you know what i will exercise my right to jury nullification, my right to issue a jury pardon if I disagree with the law and I will exercise that right if I don't like what's going on, I will exercise that right if I think this trial is unfair, well there's a very good chance that you will not be in that jury, you will get stricken for cause because you cannot follow the law and the law is that you should apply the instructions that the judge gives you and you should, if, if you are convinced beyond a reasonable doubt, you should convict. So it's not a right. You legally don't have the right to do this as a juror. It's a power though. And here's what I mean by that. There's a practicality to all of this, which means once you get selected to be a juror, you go in the back. Number one, your deliberations are secret. The court can't really get into what was said or what wasn't said. And number two, if you vote to acquit, the fact that you nullify, the fact that you said I am acquitting because I think this is not fair, is not one of the bases that the court can use to overturn that verdict. So as a matter of practicality, you have the power to do it because once you do it, there's no taking it back. The court can't get involved and set the verdict back and say, oh, you know, he or she or they nullified, so we can take this verdict back and do it all over again. The moment you say not guilty, it's over. There are no take backs. So because the court can't really get involved and undo your verdict, then you have, as a matter of fact, you have the power to go in there and do whatever you want. Now, obviously, as a juror, this means that you can convict if you have a reasonable doubt too, which is pretty terrible. But as a matter of practicality, there's really not much that can happen if you convict, even though you're not convinced beyond a reasonable doubt. But that's, I guess, that's a whole other conversation for another video. So, jury nullification is basically the power, not the right, but the power that the jury has to render a verdict of not guilty even when the evidence presented convinces them beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty okay so that's what it is now should you as a trial lawyer do jury nullification and what i mean by that is should you tell the jury that they have the power to quit even if they are convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty there are two considerations for that the first one being your jurisdiction. Most of the jurisdictions in the United States that I'm familiar with say that the lawyers cannot tell the jury that they have the power to nullify. Basically, it's illegal for the lawyer to come in and say, members of the jury, you can find the defendant not guilty, even if you're convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that he or she is guilty. So if you're in one of those jurisdictions, you probably legally cannot do that. Secondly, should you do it? Let's say you can do it. Let's say in your jurisdiction it's allowed, let's say you can, I don't know, you can get away with it or whatever, should you try to do it? I don't know, That's, I think the jury is out on that. I have seen, in, in my opinion, I would say don't try, don't go that route. I've seen a lot of um, studies that suggest that telling the jury that they can nullify when you're representing the defendant actually has the opposite effect of what you'd want. 
So tell the jury that they can use their pardon power, that they can go ahead and, and render a not guilty verdict, even if they're convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty, usually increases the amount of convictions in, that a jury will render, or rather will increase the conviction rate of a jury. So you tell them that, they come back and instead of helping you out, or helping your client out, they go ahead and they're more likely to convict your client, which obviously not a good thing. The other thing is, you don't need uh, to do this thing as a trial lawyer. You don't need to um, ask the jury to nullify, because if you think about it, when the jury decides to nullify, what they're saying is that they don't think what happened is fair, and not like just kind of like this is kind of unfair, they're saying this is really unfair. What they're saying is I don't care what the law is, I don't care what that guy did or didn't do, this is really messed up and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak out, I'm going to send a message. And the message is going to be I don't care how much evidence you presented, don't do this shit again, uh, government, don't do this again. I will, you know, we will not convict when you bring us this, these cases. And you see that probably, not probably, but you see that in modern days with stuff like marijuana and things like that where 70 percent or 80 percent of people don't care about marijuana so you know the government still uh, proceeds on these cases and they you know usually can't convict because the jury's saying yeah yeah marijuana so what don't care you know so if that's true if we're if we're starting from the position that the jury will only nullify when it thinks that this is a very unfair thing that the government's doing my take on it is you don't need to tell them that they can nullify it because number one they know when they're back there that it's their verdict that they have the final word and they can say what is or what isn't so when they go back there they can say not guilty and nothing's going to happen no, nothing can happen because that's what they're being told from the beginning is that they are the sole the only determin determiners of the facts of what happened so they know they can say not guilty and that's the end of that but secondly if the jury believes that something is so overwhelmingly unfair that they would be willing to to objectively rationalize i am going to acquit this person even though i am breaking the law even though the law says i should convict him then that's a level of of unfairness that will make the average juror not need to reach that objective thought process what i mean by that is if the jury thinks this is so messed up, this is so terrible that they would acquit no matter what, they are more likely to see the evidence, even overwhelming evidence. They're more likely to see that overwhelming evidence in the favor of the defendant. You know, that it could be three confessions, they could be videos, they could be whatever they want to be, but if they're sitting there thinking whatever was done in this case was overwhelmingly unfair for whatever reason, they're more likely to give the defendant a huge benefit of the doubt, even when otherwise he would not get that. You know, he may get the benefit, a huge benefit of the doubt on a marijuana possession case where he would not get that on a, on a murder case, right? So I don't think there's a particular need as a trial lawyer to ask the juror to nullify, even if you, even if you could, even if in your jurisdiction they let you tell the jury that they can nullify, particularly because this, there are studies that say that it's going to hurt you that's going to do the opposite of what you're trying to do. But secondly, if the jury is there, if the jury is in of the mindset that they're going to quit because of how unfair things are, they don't need you to tell them that they can. They're going to either see the evidence in a way that lets them rationalize that your client is not guilty, or they're going to see the evidence and say, your guy's guilty, but think, there's no way I'm convicted. I don't really care what happens next. I'm not putting my name on this guilty verdict. So that's it for now, guys. I hope it was helpful. I'll catch you again next Wednesday with more trial tips. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, hit that uh, bell thing that pops up next to the video, and that way when I put up new videos, you'll be able to go ahead and uh, get the notification that a new video is up. So I'll catch you again later, guys.